After plenty of travel headaches last week, 4th of July travelers felt some relief at the airports today. A little more than 120 flights were canceled as of late afternoon. That is far less than the 600 canceled yesterday. AAA estimates a record-breaking 50 million Americans will take to the roads, skies, or public transit this, this holiday. That is up 2 million from last year. CBS News' Elaine Quijano joins us now from Newark Liberty International Airport. Elaine, good to see you. How are things looking where you are? Well, I can tell you here, uh, this line behind me that we've been keeping our eye on is full of passengers who have been having some kind of issue with their flights. Earlier today, about midday or so, that line actually seemed to be getting shorter. But now that we are in the afternoon peak travel time, we have been watching as hour by hour that line has gotten longer and longer. Now, one of the passengers I talked to, a woman who was trying to get to Los Angeles, told me that she had her connecting flight that was supposed to go from D to LA canceled. So here in Newark, before she even started her journey, she was trying to figure out how she could actually get to Los Angeles tonight. It was a frustrating experience. She said uh, that she wasn't sure why that connection through DC had been canceled. They hadn't given her any reason for it. Um, so she was hoping to get on an earlier flight. And I can tell you, just watching the skies uh, out here, that continues to be, of course, a constant concern as those summer thunderstorms that can mm. pop up. A lot of these folks are hoping to make it out of Newark here. There are some possible thunderstorms in the forecast for later this evening. So a lot of the people that you see behind me are just hoping that they can make it out before those possible storms come. That's all very nerve-wracking. How busy do we expect the roads and airports to get after the 4th of July when it's time to head home? Yeah, you know, it's expected to be busy on the roads. It's expected to be busy at the airports. AAA says that more than 43 million Americans alone will be traveling by car this 4th of July weekend. And that is a record um, at the airports. Now, just to give you a sense, heading into this long 4th of July holiday weekend, TSA reported that their officers screened more than 2.8 million people across the country. And that is a record that beat out their previous record set back in uh, 2019. That was the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So uh, people are clearly wanting to come back to uh, those destinations and enjoy their holidays in a way maybe they hadn't in past years. They're seeing that on the roads, as I said. They're seeing that at airports like this one. Uh, the question is, you know, the kinds of delays that we saw last week, is that sort of an anomaly or is that perhaps a sign of things to come? Experts that we've talked to, Nancy, say, look, you had a confluence of factors several days in a row of bad weather, plus you had uh, a facility, an FAA facility, equipment, difficulty, problem, failure, whatever you want to call it, that happened in uh, the Washington, D.C. area. That also created some ripple effects and headaches for travelers. So um, whether or not we see that kind of large-scale disruption uh, this summer remains to be seen, but a lot of folks are wary and trying to get to the airport early is always a good idea, these experts say. But especially now, especially given the fact that you have airlines um, really trying to meet demand. But these very fragile systems, as you know, Nancy, mm -hmm. can really go out of whack very easily. It doesn't take much for them to uh, essentially have a domino effect where flights are not in the position that they need to be in and crews are not positioned where they need to be. Um, so they're hoping that weather cooperates. These folks behind me, uh, again, many of them really hoping to beat out uh, whatever this latest round of weather might be heading towards New Jersey. Um, but whether or not this summer proves to be any smoother, we'll just have to wait and see. I think all of us have been there and just crossing our fingers and hoping to make it out of town. Elaine Keanu, thank you very much.